Whenever you want to learn anything new, the first thing you do is go on YouTube or Google and search for the roadmap. There are different roadmaps available for data science, machine learning, data engineering and many more. But do you really think roadmaps are worth it? See, I'm not against the roadmap. I have the four video series on my channel where I explain the data engineering concepts in detail and gave the entire roadmap on my channel. So I'm not saying roadmaps are the waste of the time. Roadmaps are the best way to understand your skill gap, where you actually stand, what are the skills you are lacking and what are the skills you have to fill that particular gap. So in this video, I want to mainly focus on the wrong approaches and the wrong expectation people have when they study the roadmap and try to learn any particular skill. Number one is trying to find the easiest path. This is I have seen a lot of time even if you have like one to two roadmap available to you, you will still try to find different roadmaps and try to collect different resources to learn those things. More specifically, you are trying to find the easiest roadmap. Here's the thing, learning new skill is always difficult because you will have to sit front of your computer or a laptop, watch video, try to understand multiple topics to understand one concept read blogs or books and do hands-on practice. Let's consider you want to get into data industry and want to become a data engineer or data scientist. Now you pick up any roadmap available in the field, you will find that 80 to 90% of the skills are overlapping. Most of the roadmaps are similar. You will find some small differences based on the experience, but all the roadmaps will lead you to same result at the end. So whenever we start learning anything, the first thing we do is try to collect different resources. We will bookmark some of the links, download some eBooks available online. Then we will make the list of the courses and then list goes on and on and on. We will do everything other than learn learning and taking action to learn that particular skill. But why is that? Last year I read this book unscripted and there was a term inside this book called as action faking. Action faking is all the stuff we do that makes us feel good about our progress without actually making any meaningful progress. So you will do everything, plan, collect resources, make deadlines and all the other things but you will never take action. Second thing on the list is learning skill to just complete it. Most of the people approach the roadmap in the wrong way. They will try to complete the roadmap from start to end as it is. Here's the example. Let's say you pick up my data engineering roadmap video. So in the first three videos, I explain why you need to learn that particular skill and understand the real world use case behind learning that particular skill. And in the fourth video, I gave you the entire skill set that is required in data engineering career. There are so many different skills that I have put on the roadmap and it took me more than two to three years to learn all these skills while learning, doing internship and working with different projects. So the wrong approach people take is that they will try to complete roadmap as it is. They will try to watch videos on all the different topics and they will think that they learn everything. But watching a video and actually implementing those skills has a huge difference. So you might do a course on Python, jump onto SQL and repeat the same process again and again. So the most of the people will try to complete the skill rather than actually understanding the real world use case and doing hands-on practice. The reason is simple because it is difficult. It will make you feel uncomfortable, you will fail, you will get a lot of different errors and you will have to figure out everything by yourself. It's a pure hard work. Nobody wants to deal with these feelings, so they jump onto something else. Again, doing the action faking, not actually learning and understanding the skill and jumping from one skill to something else, thinking that I'm making progress, but in reality, you are not understanding anything. Number three on the list is wrong expectation. Understand this, every person has different journeys. So if you keep asking different people, how did they become a data scientist or data engineer, you will always get the different response from them. Many different skills will overlap, but if you are just running behind finding the right path or the easiest path, then you will never reach anywhere. Understand this, everyone has different journey and it is your responsibility to find your own path. As I told you earlier, roadmaps are the best way to figure out where you actually lack and what are the skills you actually know. For example, let's say if you are a beginner and have no skill, then you can use the roadmap to get started. So while learning, what if you find some good internship? Then that internship will determine your next path. So if you were learning AWS, but your internship demands you to learn Google Cloud, then you have to learn that particular cloud for your work and that will determine your next path and the next step in your journey. So whatever roadmaps you follow, so make sure you are open to learning whatever comes to your way. Number four on the list is trying to pick up multiple skills in one go. Roadmaps are very long and it takes a lot of time and energy to complete those roadmaps. Most of the time you will keep scrolling one roadmap and think I have to learn so many things and I don't have time. Then you will try to do multiple things in one attempt. So you will do the Python courses in the morning. On the afternoon you will do some SQL courses and on the evening you will learn some big data. So at the end of the day when you look back you will find that you did not actually learn anything. You were just trying to consume all the information in single attempt. So you will eventually find out that you are stuck in that certification or the course loop. If you don't know about this particular topic, then I have the detailed video on this topic. You can watch it over here. But basically it means that you are jumping from one topic to something else in order to learn all the things in one single attempt. So till now we understood the different approaches and the different mistakes people make when they see a roadmap and when they try to learn anything using roadmap. If you find this point relatable or if you have some other points, then you can comment it out. But now let's understand how to do these roadmaps properly. So the first thing you need to do is not focus on multiple roadmaps and pick one roadmap that you find comfortable. It is really important that you get started with learning skill 
rather than collecting different resources once you have the roadmap front of you then try to understand different skill gaps what are the skills you know and what are the skills that you need to learn so if you are completely beginner then you might not have some skill but if you already know some of the skills then remove those and make a list of the skills that you really don't know then create a proper timeline to learn all these things let's say you will learn python for 2 to 3 weeks and do some hands on practice Once you do the hands-on practice, then you will build some projects such as web scraping, clean some data, or anything such as automated bot using Python. Once you understand that particular skill, then jump onto something else such as SQL, and then try to repeat the same process for all the things that you are learning. It is really important that you implement whatever you are learning because once you watch the video and you think that you actually understood it, but the actual learning happens when you try to implement that particular skill. And also while learning these things, try to apply for job and an internship on the side. And if you don't know how to get a job and internship, I have the detailed video on that topic. Then you can watch it over here. Ultimately, it's your journey, and you need to figure out what are the different steps you need to take to reach your goal. And if this video helped you in your journey, then make sure you hit the like button. And if you are new here, then make sure you click the subscribe button for more videos. in the future thank you for watching see you in the next video